Yo, what is up, guys? My name is The Trans Otter, and today I am six months post-op. So, I know I've been slacking like hell lately, and uh, I know I didn't even record like a year. I don't think I even recorded like, no, I didn't. All I recorded was, I've recorded the months on testosterone, but I haven't recorded like a video. I've just recorded like the voice update. So I got a year, and then I didn't even post anything about a year on YouTube or how that's affected me or anything like that. Um, so yeah, interestingly enough, I'm now um, a couple days from a year and 10 months on testosterone. So uh, I'm really bustling, and I'm not sharing that with you guys. So I thought I would make the time to share at least six months post-op um, and what that means for me. I'm looking at my chest and the thing right now, and it looks really weird, but, um, I don't know. I got a sunburn, so it looks weirdly defined right here. I'm pretty sure it's not muscle. Um, and then my, my chest line, if I, I don't know, it just, it does this. Like, it's not really, it's not really too masculine, but, like, if you just sit in like this, it kind of looks like you have titties based off of the, based off of the color difference, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, I went to the beach recently, and I am kind of sunburned, not really. Um, I put um, sunscreen on my nipples, so they're like, there's like a little outline almost on that and then the drainage spots. But yeah, I'll get close to you guys in a second um, to show you guys what my chest like really looks like. Um, the scars have healed most of the way. Um, they're not really, they're not like sticking together. Um, they have, I have, you're supposed to massage the scars to make sure that they don't like, um, I don't know, I guess the fibers of it don't blend to the, to the muscles so that whenever you move it, everything moves with it, like you want the skin to move separately from everything that's attached to underneath it, or else you wouldn't be able to stretch because your skin moves with it, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I can work out again. I have been for a while now, um, but I, I have not been working out for a while, but I've been able to work out for a while, and I've just kind of like stayed away from that only because it's really been the summer and I haven't really been doing anything. Um, I want to work on that because swim season is coming up and I only have like a couple problems with my chest a few of which being that it looks it does not look I don't have pecs that's what I want I want I want a muscular chest like it's flat now and that's so great like it's so like it is flat like it's it's doing what I want it to but like I want it to be just not I want it to be flat but I want it to be flat in a masculine way I want it to be like like pecs you know that's what I want. But I can do that. I mean, the surgeon did everything I asked him to. My chest is flat, it's good, it's healed. It healed so fast, it healed way quicker than anything else. And then, um, and now it's my turn. I gotta take it the rest of the way. He gave me 50, I gotta give him 50. So I have to get like some actual muscles and make it look as defined as I want to, to where I'm still comfortable walking around shirtless now because it's legal for me to do so. Um, but I wanna be able to be just a little more confident with it. Um, I'm fine with it at the beach, but I've looked at videos and I've seen photos of me shirtless and my chest just has so many like bumps and little ridges in it and all kinds of things that I'm just like, that's what I look like and y'all let me walk around like that. So, yeah. So if we get real up close and personal, you can see that this is what my, my scars look like. It, like I said, it was it went underneath like this and went out and then I just kind of grabbed everything out of here. Um, I still have no feeling. I have feeling uh, up here, and then it stops, 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 and then right here is where I can feel again. So it's kind of like a big old. Also, I'm dehydrated, so I can draw myself, and you can see where it. Um, big old circle. Um, can't feel the drain sites, but I can feel pretty much everything around it. Oh, that is so funny that I'm that dehydrated. But um, yeah, <laughs> um, just two big old circles where I can't feel my chest. Um, I can't feel my nipples, of course. Um, if people pinch my chest or pinch them, it's like whenever your foot goes numb and uh, it hurts like hell. So nerve damage is real and it hurts. Um, if I flex, you can see that there's just like a little bit of like a, a line here, but really nothing on this side. It just kind of still goes down. So um, this side was the bigger titty, I guess we could say. It was the bigger one and um, he took more out of it. So. <laughs> so, um, wow, really? Come on, stop. Um, so, yeah, this one's got less out of it, and this one's got a little bit more. Um, it's a little more squishy and malleable, I guess, while this one, on the other hand, doesn't have much squish to work with. Um, I am so dehydrated. Um, so, yeah, there's not really much. The drainage sites look good. They're all flat now. Everything is flat. 
except for my nipples that kind of stick out just like a little bit. I don't know how to show you guys. Yeah, just a little bit. So everyone has made the plethora of jokes, calling them like snails and shit like that. I really have no idea. So um, yeah, this is my chest. Um, there's not much difference when I flex. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's flat. It's good. It's exactly where I want it. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what else to tell you guys. Um, I'm six months post-op. This was just kind of like a quick little update video. I can do just about everything you think I can. You see my chest. You see how it healed. Um, Dr. Clayton Cranford in Charleston at Sweetgrass Plastic Surgery uh, did this for me in Charleston, South Carolina. If um, any of you guys live in the state of South Carolina, he's a pretty cool guy. I suggest you go there. Um, and he did a, he did an okay job. Like he did, like he did a good job. Um, he didn't butcher me or do anything like that. The scars are healing properly. Um, there was no infection. I had no post-op trauma, uh, like trouble or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was really good. And, um, I guess you could say, um, affordable it was around $6,000, I believe. Um, not quite sure because I didn't pay it. To, I, like my mother did. I didn't, I know I'm privileged. Um, so yeah, uh, this is kind of it for this video, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my hair is getting super long. I know I've been on a hiatus for a while, and I am so sorry about that. Um, I can't look at you and tell you I think it's going to change, because, uh, and we'll diverge for a second on this outro, um, I feel like I have nothing else to offer. Um, I've kind of given the factual videos and all kinds of like that, but I can't think of anything else. There's only so much trans content you can, not trans, but LGBT content you can come up with. And I've kind of based it all around the facts. Recently, I have come up with ideas to um, diverge into other LGBT topics besides just the facts of it. Like, um, I don't know, I could teach you guys about um, LGBT history, which is something I'm actually interested in, but I don't know that myself. Um, but that will give me the motivation to do it, like you understand. Um, and then other things, but I want to stick to LGBT content. My friend Monica is really into books, and um, she is thinking about starting a YouTube, so I might let her trial test that on my channel, so I hope you guys will understand. I know you guys aren't watching this part. I understand that, too. Um, but she might have her own playlist, and she might upload her own videos where she's doing book talks. Um, I hope you guys will give her just as much support on that as you have on my videos. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go back to eating my French toast sticks, which are so delicious. And uh, I will see you guys next time.